Hi everybody, in this video we will be talking about the UI toggle. So let's get started. So we're gonna increase this a little bit so we can see, increase it on the scale. Okay, so we can see the toggle. Now the toggle, when you create it, it creates this toggle component and the right transform component. And uh, the toggle component has this interactable button. So when it's off, uh, you can't interact with it. It's on, you can. It has this color tint, just like in my previous video of uh, the buttons. This whole section is exactly the same. So uh, if you want to know what this, all these do, uh, check out that video. But one thing I didn't mention in that previous video that I forgot to mention is that uh, fade duration is uh, how long it will take take be between the colors fade between each other. So let's say right here I have a normal one and I have this highlighted one, I'm gonna put yellow. So let me put two. So it will take approximately two seconds be uh, before it turns between this white color to this yellow color. So uh, let me preview it or show you real quick. So it's gonna take two seconds before it changes to that yellow it color it will kind of fade into that yellow so as you can see if I remove it now let me add like 10 seconds and as you can see it takes a while before it starts turning into that yellow color and that's just what fade duration is so uh, moving on to uh, this is on so if this is checked mark if this is checked then uh, this check mark will appear if not it will you know disappear this is uh, a way that you could uh, use uh, when you're coding or scripting. Uh, this is how you would toggle it on and off through code and script. And there's toggle transition. So if you want it to fade or if you don't want no uh, toggle transition. So uh, and then after that, there's graphic. Graphic is just this. Uh, if you go down to the child objects, there's this uh, check mark under underneath background if you click a background as well it's just this image right here so this image you could actually pick any image as your check mark a little knob or something and change it to green and let's make it a little smaller you guys get the picture but yeah instead of if you don't want to use a check mark you could use that and now it'll work the same way and it could be anything you guys want it could be a logo anything you guys prefer I'm just going to go back, leave it to the check mark so it won't be confusing. And then uh, after that, we could go to where it says group. Now, if you have, if you want to make a group of uh, toggles, so if you want to have, let's say one says, one says high quality, then we make another one, make another one that says medium quality. Then we make another one that says low quality and we move and we move all these down. Let me go to the scene view real quick. So now we have this little group, but when we play it and we check it, they're all checked and we would have to individually uncheck each one to make this work. So if we want one check at a time only, what we could do is we could add this to uh to a toggle group, what you could do is you could create an empty game object. You could rename this to, let's say, toggle group or quality toggle group or whatever you want to name it to. Drag all these down to the toggle group and we'll add a, a toggle group component. So just click on add component, type in toggle group right here. Right here, we could allow switch off. So this will allow only one to be on and one to be off and it's pretty much like that. So if we go to the toggle, we're gonna go to the toggle group and add these to each one. Another trick is if you guys don't know, you could select all the ones that you wanna change if they are the same and they have the same components. And you could just either, if you wanna select more than one, you could click, uh, click uh, the mouse button and hold shift and click, let's say you want all these all the way up to event system. But uh, if you want to remove, let's say just one of them, control and click. And yeah, there's a little tricks that will teach you guys along the way. And you could also just control click any one you want. Now shift, if you hold shift, it kind of groups them together. It has to be a kind of like a group. It can't be separate from each other. Uh, but back to this, we'll select these two, put the toggle group on both of them. And now, should work, there's toggle group. 
So now let's see if it works. So as you can see, it works. There's only one checked. If I hit low quality, it's just one that is being checked. That's how you can do something similar to this. Now after that, we could also have uh, a value change. So an event happen when we click on it. So let's say we want to make the the bottom two disappear when we click high quality. All we do is, you know, add it. We would go to game object, uh, you know, set it to false. As you can see, as soon as I hit high quality, they will both disappear, as you can see. And then uh, I'm gonna talk about the children that uh, the toggle has. So this is the parent. The children would be the background and label and background would actually also be a parent of the check mark. So the background, all it has is this image and uh, the check mark as well. And for the label, all it has is a text. So if you, if you wanted to make a toggle group, all you would have to really do or a toggle, all you would really have to do is put this rec transform, you know, make a toggle, a toggle, put the toggle component, you know, add a background child with an image, add another one with another image, and you know, just keep going like that. Now, let's say you don't like this text, you could also uh, use the Text Mesh Pro, and to use the Text Mesh Pro uh, uh, text, all you would have to do is click this three little dots right here and remove the text component. And when you remove the text component, you just uh, add component and go to Text Mesh Pro Text UI. And there you go. Now you could just add whatever you want, like uh, high quality. And of course, <laughs> adjust the size, quality. If you guys don't know how to change these fonts, colors and all that, the material actually, check out my uh, video, my previous video that I mentioned, how to change all that. Uh, I'll leave the the link on top, so check that out. And uh, let me check how much time we got left. Okay, so I think that this will be enough for this video. Uh, if you like this video, thank you for watching. Uh, if you watched throughout the whole video, thank you for getting this far. If you liked it, please leave a like. If uh, I helped you out in any way, please uh, leave that like. It will really help me out and I will really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. I try to make videos at least once a week. Usually I make two, three a week. I try to do, they're not the best of quality videos, but uh, I hope that they're teachable uh videos so even though i don't have these fancy animations or stuff going on on the background i hope you guys are still able to learn a lot and i'm able to explain to you guys in a clear way on how to use all these uh stuff if there's anything that i need to improve on let me know and i'll try to do better in the next videos i'm still doing more videos on the ui i've already done uh the text the images, the buttons. Now I'm gonna add in the toggle right now. The next one I'm gonna try to get to is the slider and hopefully the scroll bar all in the same video. But if not, I'm gonna have to separate them. I know a lot of people prefer shorter videos than the longer ones. So I'm gonna try to keep them short like this one. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. If you wanna see more, hit that like or that bell notification. Thank you once again.